Wanda Renee. So as you can see, my hair looks okay. It looks okay. This is what I do to my hair when I don't feel like doing my hair. Um, or if my style just doesn't come out right. Or if I had a bang and twist out all day and I just don't feel like retwisting at night. I just pull it up into a puff like this. And then um, I'll end up wearing it in a puff for like the whole week. I do that and I'm just being honest with you guys but as you can see it's looking kind of rusty it's not really I mean my hair is definitely moisturized right now um but I could add some shine to it you know what I mean um so I just wanted to come to you guys with a few products that I recently tried um Carol's Daughter products so, Carol's Daughter was one of my sponsors for Yolanda Renee Takes Your City. I did a stop here in my hometown, which was amazing. Um, but yeah, so I have this product here, which is, I personally think the name is super cute. It's called Mimosa Hair Honey. It's a hair dress. It's a shine pomade. So, we're going to try this on our hair um, to see if it'll add, like, some shine. But it says for dry, brittle and textured hair it moisturizes the scalp it conditions the hair controls its frizz there's shea there's cocoa and nettles whatever that is <laughs> um but yeah and this is not a sponsored video you guys i just i had some extra and i wanted to show you guys And I really thought this was a new collection, but when I read on here, it says that this is like one of the favorites um, of most customers, and it's been around for over 20 years. So these, this must be um, an original product. And then this is the Hair Balm Hair Drash. It's a, it's a liquid pomade. So this is a shine pomade, and this one is a liquid pomade. So we're going to try both of them out. I never can find the directions. Am I slow? Like, where are the directions? So this deeply moisturizes, but it light, it's light enough to work well with other products without causing product overload. There's sweet almond oil, coconut oil, vitamin D and E. Oh, directions. Found it. <laughs> Look, this is where the directions started. Can you see? Way down here. Alright, so squeeze a small amount into the palm of your hands and then rub your hands together. Work through damp or dry hair. Gently work it into your hair and scalp. And you can apply this directly on your scalp as well. Right, the name is to die for, right? And the smell of this is to die for. I wish you guys could smell it. Oh, it's like a citrus smell. But it's like really, I don't know, it just smells so good. I used some already because I loved it and I had to come and show it to you guys. But it's like, it's the consistency is like hair grease basically. Like back in the day hair grease, you know. So we're just going to put some of this onto our um, puff. So I put it in my hands like so, and immediately it's melting and pretty much turning into an oil to, to me. So it's not exactly like hair grease. It's not as like thick and heavy as hair grease. I'm going to take my puff I out. mean, because my like I said, my hair wasn't really messed up. I just didn't feel like having it down, so I just put it up into a puff. So this Shine. is only, what do you guys think? And now I'm just going to put it back into my puff, which I have a goodie hairband here. Don't laugh at me in this video because you guys were, people were going in on my um, bun tutorial. Like they were like, is this a parody? <laughs> But it was serious because some people kept asking me on Instagram, how did I get my hair in a bun with natural hair? So I did a quick little silent tutorial. So as you guys can see, my... um. When I put the goodie hairband on, 
I didn't tie it more than once. I just put it on there loosely one time. And then I like bringing these, my sides down, like the little curly cue. See? <laughs> Um, and I, I do that usually with Eco Styler Gel or with um, the Curls Control Paste. So yeah, and I always like to make sure my center of my puff is big or stand up, up the highest because I don't like like a perfect round puff. I want it to have some type of shape. Make sure you turn to the side. Make sure it's looking good. <laughs> and if you need to use gel, you can. Like Eco Styler gel on your edges or whatever. You can make the puff go up higher, further back. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's shinier than before? But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys these products. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this quick video it wasn't a tutorial wasn't a product review but i just wanted to see if this would make my hair shine more um but yeah i love the scent i love the texture and i really do make think it like refresh my hair a little bit so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below i have more videos coming for you guys i promise um but definitely make sure you guys enter that allocate naturals giveaway If I get this video up fast enough, but I'm picking a winner at 11:59 tonight, so make sure you get it in by then. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.